Hello everybody, this is Heretic Plus, and welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play The Elder Scrolls V, or 5, Skyrim. Um, let's see, this is the first episode where the new name for my channel has gone up, I'm calling it The Heretic Daily. Let me know what you think of that, if you want it to change or whatnot, it doesn't matter to me, you know, I'm pretty flexible. If, if you think it sucks, let me know, if you love it, let me know. So anyway, we are back here with our good friend Heretic Plus, or better known as Blood Eyes the Red, the Red Elf, Blood Eyes the Wood Elf. We just escaped from Helgen, uh, where a dragon attacked, and now we're making our way here with Hadvar to the city of, or the town of Riverwood. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Town from here is Riverwood. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. No! Don't leave me alone! Here. These woods are foreign to me. Whatever. He says let's split up, but we're gonna take the same route anyway, so it doesn't make a lot of sense to this me. You should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. We could really use someone like you. Yeah, you can actually the choose to escape with either Hadvar or the Stormcloak. Um, Al. What was the Stormcloak's name? I don't remember. But uh, whichever one that you leave with, um, will tell you to go join their respective um army. So you know, he says go to Solitude, join the Im Imperial army or imperial guard whatever you said and um halver i think his name is would have said to go and join the stormcloaks in windhelm see that ruin up there bleak falls barrow when i was a boy that place always used to give me nightmares we're gonna be heading up there before Broader too long guys be that'll be our first real big dungeon that kind but uh, there's something around I here i still don't much like the look of it there it is all right, there are these three stones here, and if you've played Oblivion, you understand what these are based off of. In Oblivion, they had a system called your birth sign, where like you were born under a particular sign, and it g gave you bonuses. Like Guardian if you're born, stones. hey, buddy, I'm telling it. Okay, go stone. screw yourself. I hate you. Go ahead, see for yourself. I plan on it, buddy. Good grief. Alright, so uh, basically, like, if, if you were born under the mage, you had increased magicka. If you were born under the warrior, you were better with endurance and strength, etc. Pretty straightforward. Um, we are gonna be born... It's kind of odd for us, because... In this game, they'll make... Uh, the thief will make stealth skills level up 20% faster. Mage will make mage skills level up faster. And warrior will make warrior skills level up faster. The problem with this is... Well, one, I'm not exactly sure... Which ones fall under which category? This is obviously, obviously a magic, but like heavy armor, I believe is fighting. One-handed is probably combat. Is archery combat or is archery stealth? Or light armor and sneak and I think there's seven for each one, but two, three, four, five, six. Nope, not seven. So I'm not really sure which one we want to go for, but I'm actually going to go for combat. Um, the reason the reason why I'm going to go into combat is because, like in Oblivion, um, this game scales up in difficulty by uh, what level you are. So here's the problem. If you chose, and especially in Oblivion, you leveled up by increasing stats. It's the same way in this game, but the problem here is... You know, I want to adjust the, the volume a little bit. It's kind of weird. A little bit a little bit louder than I like. Um, the problem is that if you level up... Um, by putting stats into non-combat skills, what happens is the enemies get harder and you don't get any better at fighting. So really, that just screws you over. So in that case, you know, I'm going to be doing a little bit of stealth, a little bit of fighting too. So I, I'm going to go ahead and do combat. You know? But this game is just incredibly beautiful. Look at the effects of that water, man. This is just absolutely amazing. Okay, buddy, I thought we were traveling alone. Just follow me around talking when I'm trying to talk to these nice viewers. You should just stick a sword in your backside while we're here. I've got two of them. Okay, hello. Wolf. Oh, you should have died from that. Whoa, okay. Oh shit. Goodbye. You got screwed over, sir. 
Alright, so the wolves have some wolf pelts. One pound for ten gold. That's not bad. Sometimes, if you kill them with arrows, you can actually pull your arrows back out and use them again. Not all the time, but uh, sometimes. So that's good to note. But, uh, go ahead and, if you want to do a little bit of alchemy, I haven't decided yet if I want to or not, you can go ahead and grab some of the plants along the road. There's nothing, you know, honestly, I can't really tell you much about what's good or bad for alchemy in Skyrim because I've never really done it before. Um... I did a lot of it in Oblivion, and Oblivion it was awesome. It's probably so good in this game, but I just didn't bother. Did not bother very much. Mountain flowers. By the way, I'm in a really good mood, guys, because I went yesterday, or last night, and I bought my fridge, my mini fridge. Woo! And, of course, I'm calling it the Diablo 3 because it's right next to the uh, game case up there. I hope you all enjoy. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. It's stocked up with uh, soda, bottles of water, etc. I like water when I'm casting because, it, you know, talking for so long really wears out your voice and, and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, so step two of making my room into an apartment is complete. So, this is the wonderful town of Riverwood. This is actually, like, my favorite town in the game, pretty much. Just because just I love the atmosphere, you know? But, um... So Hadvar is, I guess, his uncle, or his brother, or his cousin. I don't know who he is. What's going on? And who's this? But he's the blacksmith in Riverwood. He's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything, but we need to go inside. Okay, okay, come inside, then. Sounds good. We'll get you something to eat. I enjoy food. Tell me. Alvpor and Sigrid's house. Yay! Hey, what's up, lady? Dorothy? Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers, but you seem alright. I swear, we look so legit, man. Blood Eyes, the Wood Elf. Freaking amazing. Sigrid, we have company. We're sitting really far away, actually. I'm gonna go sit up closer. Stealing your chair. Suck it! What's up, guys? Woo! You're hot. New to Skyrim. In Oblivion, all the women looked like crap, but in Skyrim, a lot of them actually look pretty good. Now then, boy, what's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument? Actually, I stuck an arrow up the cave bear's butt. I stop. You know I was assigned to General Tully as a scorn. We were stopped in hell yet, when we were attacked. Oh, God, a dragon? Yep, Spyro's been drinking again, and so he's come to Skyrim to, to kill everyone. Who calls people husband, you know? I mean, like, woman, you know, but... Husband? I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not... That's right, blood adds the wood off to the rescue. I need to get back to Solitude now and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Supplies a place to stay. Of course, any friend of Hadvar's. How generous of you, mine. sir. I'm glad to help, however. By the way, let me know in the comments. Should I play a more I evil see. character or I more of a good character? Woo! Upskirt. We need your help. So I can take some gifts. You can really take everything you want. He doesn't really care, so I'm just gonna take everything. Everything except for this shirt. We don't need that shit. Yarrow needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is oh, defenseless. Oh shit, it's defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Sweet. Uh, Whiterun is like the central HUD for the game. It's a city like right in the middle. A lot of the war is dependent on who can control Whiterun, etc. It's a really great town, one of my favorites. So that's really the second big one we're going to go to. But, um... What do you think of the war, buddy? People are rightly stirred up about the Those damn Thalmer. Allowed to roam around arresting people just for worship. That's dogs. it. But was it worth tearing Skyrim apart and maybe destroying the empire? No. Ulfric will have a lot to answer for in the end. Nords have always supported the empire, and the empire has always See, and and that's Skyrim. really the two points of view. Between the war. From that treaty that ended the Great War, remember? 
When the Emperor was forced by the Talmor to out Yep, that was one of the conditions to end the war and save the Empire. When I was a boy, everyone still had their little shrine to Talos. But then, Ulfric and his sons of Skyrim started agitating about it. Sure enough. The yeah, they really didn't crack down on it or even care if they worshipped off the the to the side. Of the but um, Ulfric really brought the light to it and got the Thalmor pissed off, so really he made things worse. I see no harm in it. Sweet, we can use his forge. There is blacksmithing in this game much better than simply armory and oblivion. We, we can actually make, repair, etc. armor, you know, upgrade it. I've got plenty of raw materials. If you actually want money, you can get a lot of money through woodcutting here. We really don't need it. Um, if you're going to roleplay this game, which I've done on a mage character, um, like almost the entire game I roleplayed, uh, then doing things like getting a job like that is really great, and you can make a lot of really good money by doing that. But uh, Jarl Bargruff, the Jarl. Now, Jarl Bargruff in Whiterun, gosh, that's a mouthful. He, um, doesn't want to choose sides. He's kind of leaning towards the Empire, but he doesn't want to choose sides in the, in the war. Yeah, see? Yeah, Nords have never been fair-weather friends. I know, the weather here sucks, buddy. It's absolutely terrible. Ah, I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Elisif, I should say. Although only because she was married to Jarl Tori. Yeah, basically... A, a big thing with Ulfric. Ulfric stormed into Torig's throne room and he was like, I challenge you, you know, according to the ancient Nord rules. Like, I fight for your, uh... If I beat you, I, I get your crown or whatever. And and Torig accepted and, and Ulfric used his dragon shouting to beat the shit out of Torig. So Torig's dead. They didn't honor it though, and so now a huge war started over it. And Elisif, Torig's wife, is now the uh, high king, I guess, the high jarl, however you want to say it. And really, they're fighting over her crown. The river. Right one is right. Ah, right one's pretty close. But yes, I did. Well, it looks kind of like Barack Obama. Only, well, not not really. I'm just joking, guys. You two make yourselves at home. All right. All right. I believe, yeah, this is the chest where if you didn't... Really, anything in this house, unless it's red, anything in the house you can just take. You know, as, as a donation to our tough times ahead. Can I help you? This book is actually hilarious. A Gentleman's Guide to White, to white Run. It's, nice it's to really funny. So you, you can cook in this game. Listen. You can go activate your food, and we got some ingredients, not really very much, but you get ingredients like this, like cabbage, potatoes. There's actually a use for them now, and eating can... I mean, sometimes you can eat really good food that improves stats some, but for the most part, it's kind of a waste of time. But I might do it a little bit just to show you guys something. But let's, let's go ahead and get back out into Riverwood. Got some stuff to do, people to see, man. All right, so what is up? Where's the blacksmith at? Hey, Alver. Where you go, buddy? There you go. What's up, buddy? May the gods watch over your battle, Nothing else right? to tell me? Mm -hmm. Son of a bitch. Okay. Into the Riverwood Trader. This is our first big quest we can get in the game. I figure, why not do it now? I mean, what else are we gonna do? Has to do something. They're fighting. I said no. No You're wearing no way too much makeup, lady. No thief chasing. Just saying. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. Sorry. I'm taking my business elsewhere. Blood Eyes the Wood Elf does not settle for this kind of shit. What's up, man? Lucan? Well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Did something shop. happen? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a... A break-in? Oh, shit! We still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. Her virginity. I mean an uh, ornament. Solid gold. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. 
You could. I've got some Sweet. Coming in from my last ship. Yeah, so we're gonna go the track down the thieves back. of of their special store claw, and of course they're in Bleak Falls town. Barrow. Oh shit! That yes. one place that the guy the guy said was scary when he was a kid, and all kinds of bad stories oh, really? are told about it. Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. You're not pretty. I don't need you to guide me. I'll I'll take somebody else. I'll take the blacksmith's wife. I'll take his wife. What else you got here? Anything to sale? To anything to sell? I mean, all right. You can spy, sell. They got all kinds of cool stuff. We're not really gonna buy anything. We are gonna sell a few things we picked up that we don't really need. So I'm gonna sell our mage equipment. We're not gonna use that. I'll go ahead and sell our rings. Potions. This poison really freakishly sucks. We don't need it at all. Uh, food. Yeah, I'll sell the food. Who needs Who needs food? We live off of consuming the blood of our victims. Food is for losers. I'll keep that spell tome. Alright, so we have 432 gold. Pretty nice. And we're gonna go set off into our new adventure. Level 1. Woo! I really don't know if I should be a good character or a bad character. I feel like Blood Eyes looks like kind of a bad character. But let me know, guys, what you think. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you behind, chick. I don't, I don't want your help. Goodbye. Actually, if there really were trolls in there, we'd be screwed. Because at this point in the game, trolls are really, really freaking strong. Like, way stronger than we are. And they regenerate health pretty quickly. Unless you use fire on them. But. Alright, so we're going up the mountain. Th there's all kinds of like stone things like, like these, like pillars lined up. So you can't really miss the way up the mountain towards Bleak Falls Barrow. It's pretty straightforward. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and equip the longbow. We're going to do a little bit of stealth in this next area. To show off our awesome... Wood Elf Talents. Just a quick look. Oh, there's a wolf. I paused right when it was coming out. Just to take a look at our talents. Nothing. We haven't really upgraded anything much yet. So you can see really what stats we're better at than others. Archery, we started out pretty good. Light armor, sneaking, lockpicking, pickpocketing, alchemy. Those things were pretty good. 15 is the base ability. So everything that you start with over 15, you had a little bit, a little bit of a boost in. So yeah. Very nice. Son of a bitch. You can punch people now in this game, too. To kind of stun them and go like, bitch. Mm. I'll punch you. That's really good because it never made sense to me how you just stood there and got smacked by swords and stuff and shot your bow at them. Like, if you can punch them in the face and, like, stumble them and then shoot them, that makes more sense. To me, at least. Okay, on the way up. I swear, I wish this game was more playable by third-person mode, because the third-person art just looks absolutely splendid. But, really, I mean, you can do it if you want to. Our melee character is probably more uh, usable, but the game is just better played in first-person, unfortunately, guys. Sorry to say. So that is our first little encounter with some uh, bad eggs. There are a couple of bandits lurking around, if I believe correctly, or remember correctly. So, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and pop my sneaking. Maybe we can get up. There he is. Got him. 2x damage. Not very much, but not really bad. I missed him. Goodbye. Done with this shit. Let's go. Shoot, I keep pressing the wrong button. I'm gonna kill you. Ow. Oh. Level two. Let's go ahead and loot their stuff first. Got some beef, lockpicks, studied armor. I think that's better than what we've got. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and take all of this, except for those. Those look like crap. But I'll take them anyway. And we'll see exactly what this new gear can do for us. What do you got, sir? Fur armor. Interesting. Steel battle axe. Weighs 21 pounds. 100. I'll take it for now. It's pro we're probably gonna drop it later. But first things first, let's take a look at our armor. See what we can do. 
So our light armor, oh, it does 25 as well. Well, in that case, what does this look like? Does that, does that look good? No, I, I like the Imperial a little bit better than that. Go ahead and... I'm not going to drop it. We're not going to wear it. And then I'm going to go ahead and equip... The hide braces look a lot better, in my opinion, than the other ones did, so... Yeah, we're kind of a Roman badass right now. Pretty nice. Oh, yeah, leveling up. So when you level up, there's three things you can do. Well, two things you can do. First, you can choose to increase your magicka, your health, or your stamina. And since we're using two weapons and we're kind of dependent on combos, I'll, I'm going to put our first one into stamina. And then you get to choose a perk. And what perks do is uh, they kind of... They give you a little bit of a upgrade in, in any of the major skill areas that you want to go into. So, like, uh, if we chose to do one-handed weapons, they do 20% more damage at level 1. Archery, the same thing for bows, etc. Pretty straightforward. I'm going to put it into... Archery. So, overdraw, 20% more damage. Which is actually a lot. Like, even grabbing the first one in any of these things is really really nice but the first five perks you can take which are you can take some perks more than once to uh whoa what was that is somebody up here there's somebody up here son of a bitch you're gonna die i got more stamina now buddy Shoot, you got a shield okay oh you are screwed buddy Hmm. Got heavy armor too, man. You got a hide shield. We don't need to really get that, but uh, wait to uh, money. We'll go ahead and loot all this crap. This is, of course, the stereotypical cliche Skyrim helmet. It looks alright. It shows up in all kinds of, you know, fan videos and stuff. It's kind of funny, but really, we're going to take pretty much everything and go back and sell it to Lucan. Um, typically, you want to take to sell the gear that of course weighs the least based on how much money it's worth you know as like a ratio and that's how you can get the most money out of single trips but for right now it doesn't matter too much and like I said if we do find anything better we'll just drop other things to make room for new things that are that are just better to take so that's all to do here we'll go ahead and re-equip the long bow I do spend a lot of time walking around in third person, but I do like all of my like fighting and stuff like that in first person, of course. Am I going the right way? Yes, I'm going the right way. So this is it. Bleak Falls Barrow up ahead. This place is just falling apart, man. I really don't like snow areas in any game I've ever seen one in. I always hate them. But... They're not so bad in Skyrim, I guess. But shoot, like, Snowhead Temple and Majora's Mask. Oh, I absolutely hate that fucking place. Although, really, it's odd because I, I really love Majora's Mask. All the side quests are great. The characters are great. The story is great. You know, all the towns, stuff like that are really cool. But I really don't like any of the dungeons, like, at all. I really didn't love playing them. I missed. Shit. Shit. I'm gonna die. Whoa. Oh, before you got me, I got you. Oh, you got a bow. I'm looting your stuff while you're shooting at me. Use a bow up close. Dude, you're a bandit, man. You ain't going to Sovngarde. I'm a wood elf. I'll go there before you will. Punk. You're not wearing a shirt. I mean, I guess Nords have, like, better... Oh, shit, I just fell. I guess Nords have better frost resistance, but not wearing a shirt? Seriously? That would be cold as fuck, wouldn't it? I feel like that would be really cold. But you're next. Oh! Skidoosh. Dual wielding for the win. Yeah, like I said, dual wielding isn't the greatest choice because you can't block. And we'll probably see in this playthrough very soon the consequences of not being able to block effectively. But it sure is fun. 
So this is it. Bleak Falls Barrow. Go ahead and equip the bow. There are a few good chances to use it in this first room here. But, uh, yeah. Level 2. Made one level of progress. Sweet! Come on, load screens. I, I, I do have to say, though, on the Xbox, the load screens are the worst of, of every system I've played it on. Xbox has the worst load times. So they're way up ahead, but we can get them in the back with some arrows. What the hell? I hit a pot? Did you see that? I hit a pot. Sneak upgrade. Let's go, buddy. Gotcha. Miss me. Miss me. Woo! Get close to me, lady. Oh! Skidoosh. You got fucked. Now, she has a hunting bow, and hunting bows, I believe, are a nice little upgrade from the longbow. But, uh... It appears like they had some problems in here from skeevers. They lost a couple of men to, the, to those that I didn't kill. I mean, I, I promise I didn't kill them. It wasn't me. But, uh, hide boots to six. These are better, man. All right, weapons. Yeah, the hunting bow does nine damage. The longbow does eight. So we're switching to the longbow, man. No reason to keep that short bow around. It also looks pretty cool, too. It's, it's kind of, you know, it, it's, uh, what do they call that, a recurve bow? I don't know exactly what it's called, but, man, there are bandits everywhere, dude. By the way, just an in interesting idea, when I roleplayed this game, the idea that I went on was that, you know, like, if you kill people, like, with magic or with, like, a sword or something like that, it would completely destroy their armor, pretty much. I mean, unless you really did it really well. Um, in which case, you wouldn't want to wear it because it's crap. You know, unless you went and repaired it, I guess. But also, the fact that you wouldn't kill somebody and take off their clothes and keep going. you just kill them and go for the tr treasure chests. Maybe they're weapons, but not their armor. So, like, when I roleplayed this game, I didn't take any of, like, their armor off, pretty much. Unless it wanted me to. Like, the game wanted me to. I really didn't uh, do that. I think it's more realistic if you don't. But if you're just playing for fun... Man, th them bitches be naked all the time. It's the best way to go. So we're entering into Bleak Falls Barrow. Spiderwebs. Man, I would hate walking through these in real life. That would just absolutely suck. But look at the animation. When we walk through them, they break and the wind makes them move. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Got a burial urn, amethysts, potions, etc. Always a good time. Always a good time. These places are filled with things like this. Um, pretty much like in all games, this one maybe not as bad as other, like Oblivion and, and maybe even Morrowind. But dungeons have like archetypes, like there are Nordic dungeons, there are Dwarven dungeons, there are things like that. And they're all pretty much built the same, they have the same kinds of loot, same kind of stuff, same kinds of enemies. They don't really change. There's there's not a lot of truly unique places, I guess. I mean, they're unique the first few times you go through them, and they're all a little bit different, but in the, how they're designed, they're all pretty similar. But there are shit tons of them. Another burial or nothing in there. Yeah, barrows, of course, are like big underground tombs where they buried ancient people. Hey, what's this guy doing? Should we kill him? No, no, we're not gonna kill him. He's gonna take care of himself. <coughs> oh! Yeah, he activated it and it shot him with darts because this is a puzzle and he did the puzzle wrong. He was unworthy, the bandit outlaw. He actually has more health than normal bandits do, just as a little note. But, um, he got fucked. Basically, what you want to do is up here, you can see that there's a pattern up here. Most Nordic dungeons have this at some point. This one fell down, but you just added into it, too. So, 
Snake Snake Fish is what this one is. It, it really doesn't seem like it's very, I mean, defensible, is it? But I guess, you know, ancient Nords weren't too intelligent. But if you do it right and you press the lever, it will open up the gate. So yeah, how about that? I hope you all enjoyed this episode, episode 2 of Skyrim, of my new, newly named channel, The Heretic Daily. So yeah, tune in next time to episode 3, where we will continue, and I'm pretty sure we will finish the Bleak Falls Barrow, turn in our first real quest, get our first real rewards. We look freakish freakishly awesome. So until next time, this is Heretic Plus and Blood Eyes the Wood Elf, signing off. Goodbye!